Hey you guys and welcome back to another Pokemon XD Girl of Darkness video. This time we're actually gonna explore this ship, this lost ship that was here, and actually find a missing Pokemon and stuff. And that's where we punish go, but let's see what we got from a letter from. It just talks about how the Fusion is finally going to be reopened. That's pretty good. But I guess let's continue, shall we? And and anyway, to get and to get, get th go, and we also have to push all these boxes and stuff like that, so we so we'd be able to you know to go over there. And the and I'm also doing this just to push the item out of the way, I guess. Which I have no idea why I'm pushing it that way, but. Which I should have just done, pushed all the way, all the way over there, but... See, I'm just doing that so I can reach that Pokédex over there. Which, actually, I don't even know what it is, because... Actually, I usually record these weeks, a week or so in advance, so... At least gameplay-wise, but... Oh, wait, that's not gonna work, isn't it? Oh, wait, wait a minute. You can just jump down and do it. I just messed up, and I... Why did I do that? I was thinking I had to push it over there, but no, I, I guess you just, I just you just go and get over there. You can, and, cause I guess you just push it back up and back out and back in after you collect the item. I don't know why I didn't look at that first or pay attention <laughs> to what I was doing. And we got an iron, which wasn't even that big, big of a deal, but let's do that just to make this video a little bit more, I guess. And, or get more stuff done. But, yeah. And I actually have the um, experience share on, on one of my Pokemon. Because I know in this version, in um, up until X and Y, you technically can't, couldn't get um, turn the experience on full like on. Because I know in X and Y and the and the third generation remakes, you can turn the um, experience shit on, which affects all your Pokemon in your party. Compared compared to the games that came out before X and Y, you only can use it per po one per one time for every Pokemon you use. Me, of course. Oh, why then? Oh, oh, why then? Apparently, well, that kind of really didn't work out that well because, you know, I guess we have to at least get only battle one of these guys and compared to those three, and so we just battled one of these guys, which is awesome, by the way, but. I mean, like I said, in, in the um, early version of Pokemon from up until X and Y, you can only use one Pokemon on the in for expansion share. I believe I have I believe I have Bolt under the expansion share right now, so let's that give us a little more XP while Bolt is in battle. Which is pretty good though, but I'm just switching out so my Bolt doesn't faint or anything. 
Because I know it's kind of pretty low level. It's only like level 20, but... It it's supposed to evolve, I think, at level 20, actually, but I caught it at level 20, so taking it will evolve to the next level. Then evolve, I believe after that it evolves to, at level 30, though, I like, have to evolve to Rosalina. No, whatever. But, but now, we just have to battle this guy. I mean, this guy has a Shadow Pokemon. I believe so. I believe, I believe he does. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure, I believe he does. I don't know what he has though, but it could have been so long. I actually can just check what right now if I if I need to if I really need to check and tell you and explain it, but yeah. So I just use electric type on that wire type and which which I guess I think it's wire type, but it went down pretty far actually, so I don't know. Ooh Man, I heard a good news. Man. Teddy or so you slash, huh? Hmm. That's not good. At all. Uh, let's use faint. And let's use thunder shot. Once as it gets out before I even like to my guy to find it. So it took me a while to find the gold point. Wait, oh. Ba -ba Who knows? Come on, where's that guy at? Does he have a shadow Pokemon? Oh, that's gonna be Shadow Watch. No, it's not good. Huh? Is it? No, it's not. I'm still can't think there's any of these guys that have Shadow Pokemon in the Pokedex. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, no, no Shadow. I thought, I thought there was one Shadow guy. I guess, I guess not. Wait, wait, let's, let's destroy if we see. Oh, that coffin still will have to get up. Get that coffin. Come on, coffin. But that fan attack will do it if it if it doesn't miss. Sweet. Then why would it miss? Come on, it's freaking Pokemon. It will, my, it's, I'm really high level. It wouldn't miss. And there's that guy down. That was pretty easy. And I believe my bolt's gonna evolve after this. So let's see what it evolves to. Boom, boom. That's all I probably said, but you know. There's my waltz evolving. It's not Wozelina that evolves to it. Kirkolia. Sorry. I don't know why I always thought Wozelina. But anyway. Is that even a Pokemon? I don't think so, but. Yeah, there you go. Waltz evolved in Carlia. And it looks Calm Mind, by the way, too. But I'm probably not going to use it because it doesn't really do anything. Now our next move after that is we're going to do Psychic at level 26. That's pretty good. Wait, who's that guy, I wonder? Let's find out. This guy's a nice guy. He's, he heals our Pokemon for us. Nice. That's nice of him. Sure, why not? So now let's actually go and find that missing Pokemon. It's actually a Bonsley, by the way. Which we just have to go downstairs. But first we got a battle CD 18, number 18 right here on the ship. We have to go downstairs and stuff. And we actually have to push more blocks and stuff like that. There's more items too in. And I, and actually we can just can push that over there. But actually I don't think that's going to work. When I think, uh, no, wait. Actually we can... Oh shoot. I don't know why I didn't do that. Wow, why did I, I? Well, I guess I can just push it right there and stuff. So, and then get, jump in that hole after I collect, collect this item. 
We found the Firestone. Nice. That would be pretty handy if I need a fire Pokemon to evolve with Firestone. But, but I don't believe there's not any I, I, I need to do. If I had like an Eevee or whatever, I can evolve into Flareon. But I don't have an Eevee, so I know I evolved my Eevee into Jolteon, so... Unless I have multiple, but I found two PP ups. Nice. Now let's go downstairs some more into the next level. Which actually, these items in here. Yep. We just have to push these guys back. Uh, yeah, just push that back. And I believe that thing has a max either, which we get. Let's see what we get, shall we? Yep, max either. Nice. And now we go some more downstairs, but we had to put, but we had to push these boxes back and stuff, which I guess kind of need to. But I guess there's no other way around, so we kind of have to push these this way. So yeah. And actually, let's go to the next floor. The the ne I believe the next floor has the TM35. Wow, did I literally just fall down here? Wow. Dang, I hate that we do this every time you had to fall. Like, there's not like an exit way to get out when you have to, so you had to like push it back and back in. Which kind of sucks, but I guess you just kind of have to. And like I said, actually, the, I believe the next floor it looks like it has the yellow flute and the TM35 flamethrower. Which is pretty cool though. Flamethrower can come in handy with my Houndoom. Mm -hmm. Not again. Why does this keep happening? Why? I had to push this book back. I mean, this box, not book. It's this box. Yeah. But, you know, the Flamethrower can come in handy with my Houndoom, like I said. I don't think the Yellow Fruit does anything that well, but good, but I mean, for the next floor we go to. Because we just got the Max Eat on this floor. And it looks like on the final floor, on the bottom, floor, on the very bottom floor, after we, after the next floor, is uh, leftovers and the lux luxury ball. Which, yeah. And this, and this thing, what I like about this here, you, you only had to like push once or whatever, and, you, and I believe you can't get stuck right here or whatever, and you only had to push one of these compared to like to a lot multiple of these. So I believe that one goes right there, or I can just put actually. I, or I can just push this all the way over there. Because I'm actually going to push that one, this one, like, over there in that area. And actually, I'm just, I don't know why I just decided to push that, but that way, because that was just a nice foot pushing, but. Just pushing this this way. And then we had to go up here, around to the left. And then push it to the right after we jump down here. Because we still can get there, though, obviously. But it's easier if we just do this, because. So you don't have to, you know, come back and push that other one back, but that's how you pretty much do it. And here's these two items, and now we can't, but this is so we don't get back, and that's the TM-35 right there. And this one, which is a flamethrower, with them checking, I just checked in to see what it was, but it's actually the flamethrower like I just showed you. The flamethrower! Charizard is flamethrower! It's super effective against... I guess any grass type Pokemon, pretty much. Grass and any bug, because that's what it is. I'm glad that I fell right there and not like stuck between boxes and stuff like that. And there's actually a, that Bonsley right there you can see. What was that? Yep, that's the missing Pokemon that's asleep. It's a Bonsley. This is actually a fourth generation Pokemon, surprisingly, which they just decided to add as, I guess, a, you know, revealing for, for a for. for just show you what a, f a new fourth Pokemon generation lo Pokemon looks like, which is actually another fourth generation Pokemon that is much lax, which is the pre-evolution of um of Snorlax. And Bonsly is actually the um, pre-evolution of Sudowoodo, which is a second generation Pokemon, surprisingly. It's, it's kind of interesting that they add a baby Pokemon to the Pokemon series. I guess to just make it better, and we kind of have to go slow right here. Or the Bonzo will go away, so we can so so we you know able to sneak up to it and maybe capture it. I wish that we can actually capture it. it kind of we actually I think we actually can, but we can't right now. 
but we got an email from someone, and then Bonzi just leaves because it has the email. That's why that's part of the story, though. So we get an email, and then that happens. All right, then. You want to write a novel about me as your character? Okay, why not? Why don't you just write a story about me um, going around different regions and beating evil team members up? And we just got the leftovers. That's the thing I was talking about that we got. And there's like no item right there, but you know, I kind of you know, miss the other one because I was just. Cause I'm not just I'm post commentary and then looking at my book because I don't usually play and look at the book while, I'm, while I do the comment while I do it. Unless I do it. Unless I do the com to look at the book before the commentary because I have a guidebook to this game. Like, if you guys don't know already, I have a guidebook already. Because if, if, if you guys know that I know a lot about the information about this game and where all the items are, it's because I have a, a guidebook that tells me where everything is. So, yeah. And then we just go upstairs. And there's that guy again. Thanks. Thank you, guy. Thank you for allowing me to heal my Pokemon up. Now, actually, we need to go this way and go downstairs because we need we need to leave this place. And actually, when I get to the the bottom floor of this to get to exit out of the area, there's actually going to be a cutscenes with these other team evil team, but not Team Cipher, but Team Snipe. So here we go as the cutscene comes. Um, I like the music though. <laughs> Team Snagnum. That feeling. We need a sleep powder on us. That's not it. <laughs> whoa, 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 what hap whoa, what happened? Where am I? Huh? Where's my side machine? Where did they go? Oh no. Where am I at? Oh, it's that guy. We're back here. Hmm. Let's see what he wants. So now let's go to, uh, I guess, down. Well, let's see what my Pokemon look like. They're all filled up. That's good. But anyway, let's go to that place where um, Team Snagdom go and, and stuff like that. And and that's where, apparently where Team Cypher's secret hide one of secret hideouts or bases is at. But think about switching it out with um, Jolteon. Just, just because there's a, a good battle ahead that we need to battle this one guy. 
and which is pretty tough. So I'm gonna use my um, Jolteon. But we still have Cordia as I'm um, experienced here on it, so we can gain the same experience on my Jolteon and my Helmroom game gain. So that's pretty good. But I can't believe they actually stole my snag machine, so we can't snag Pokemon now until we get it back. So. That's, pre that's pretty bad. Pretty, we kind of really need it. But anyway, let's go after we leave the SS Libra and go to this mysterious place. Let's see what it is. I believe it's like the Team Cypher Bay. It's called Cy Cypher Key Layer. I actually got to see that in my book. And let's see what happens. He snagged them and that one that one dude from Oler. Uh oh, he's mad. Zook is mad. Uh oh, so there's a battle between that Zook guy, the bully guy, and the T Snagnum guy, huh? Hmm. Wow. And if you guys don't know, Zook is the guy that actually knocked our little sister over. And, um, that one. That one was that one down there, but. Like, Gate, gate to Port City. Gate to Port. Just Gate to Port. Same guy. Gate and port, yeah. Just gate and port. But anyway, that guy just pretty much killed them right there. <laughs> Cause they suck. Why we walk. And he's better than them, so they suck. Bye guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> Suckers. What are you looking at, huh? Huh? Zook, huh? Hello? Yep, the guy from Gate to Port, of course. I'm fighting you before you fly to me, you punk! <laughs> but maybe I asked about this guy named Doug Zook. And he has that Zinkus, which is actually Shadow type Pokemon, surprisingly. But we can't capture it after we get our, um, you know. We can't capture it until we get our, you know, Snag Machine back. Which kind of sucks. You know, it actually still says that it's a Shadow Pokemon, but we can't capture it until we get our Snag Machine. Which sucks, though, but. We can rebattle him though after we get our snag machine back, but that's I guess that's part of the game, I guess. <laughs> getting, the, getting the trying to I guess trying to get our snag machine back. I forget what got stolen by T snagged him. This kinda makes sense because I snagged stuff from people. But this guy sends out corn of vina. And it's water type, so it can be a super effective good for your Zoltion. And that guy's pretty damaged to because you know it's Maybe we just bite or eat on that thing use. Cause actually when I was battling, I thought we could probably catch it, but technically we can't. I don't know, I don't know why. We just it kinda sucks a little bit that we can't capture that thing just right now. But that'd be pretty handy though. So we can so we can easily take that shadow Pokemon out later though, but nope, apparently not. 
And this guy has a Surviper, huh? Surviper! I remember um, in, in, in the Pokemon series, um, J Jessie had a Surviper and stuff like that, so yeah. I remember, I remember she catching it, actually, in the Hoenn. The Hoenn? When they were, when Ash was in Hoenn and stuff like that, he caught Surviper, and, I mean, she caught Surviper. But, Jessie did it. Jessie has, Jessie has been using it. He used it during the Hoenn and Diamond and Pearl series. The Vance and Diamond Pearl series she used it, so, yeah. So I actually don't know why. I don't know if she got rid of the Viper. I don't think she did. I think she just, you know, doesn't use it. Or, not, or they're not allowed to use the old Pokemon from, um, from the previous in Generation 5, at least. I don't know what they used for Generation 6, but I know in Generation, um, Four, three and four, they use Surviper and stuff, and they actually, and actually in Generation Three, they got rid of Ek coughing, we, I mean, wheezing, and Arbok, which was sad, but I guess that's part of the game. But we just leveled up, or oh, okay, yeah, to level 22. This guy sends out World coming. Nice. We can try to take out that guy, but that guy is a poison tail on us. That's pretty good damage right there. Let's bite it down. Let's feign attack. Actually, not bite it, but yeah, I just remember that. I just remember some awesome Pokemon moments and some sad Pokemon moments. Like in the first Pokemon movie, Ash almost dies. Pretty sad. And then all the Pokemon cried, and and then Ash lived again. So now, I don't know how that's possible, but I guess that's just part of the game and stuff. And I guess this guy's kind of you know taking a health pretty down pretty far. Cause it's already halfway down and stuff. Let's use Return, which doesn't do that much damage, but you know, just part of the game. Let's use Fan Attack! Fly first stripes. Fan Attack! Boom! Does it do? Just a little damage, not that much damage compared to. It's better not fade my arm. Um, Zoom. Helm down, Helm do. And of course it does. Fade my Helm do. Let's send out Spiel. Oh come on. And you guys don't know I won't get my snag number machine this episode because you know we've already been like 27 minutes and stuff like that, so yeah. So I probably won't get my um, snag machine and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna finish off on um, you know where to like I guess defeat this guy and then um, go to the next area and start there. But, but maybe it has Curlia. And we have our spill that can use arrow beam. Boom! Which is not very effective, but I don't care. Let's use arrow beam and sing. Sing a song. Sing a song and the song is not working, but I don't care. It's super effective. That's not good at all. Ooh, and speed fell. Ooh, that's not good at all. We still can't. We, we still can't get the Spanish party down with arrow beam though. Ooh, jeez. Let's use arrow beam again. Let's just sing. Come on, you sing. Come on. Keep missing, why, Curlia? Why you keep missing? Ugh, man. And spill fainted. That's it. Ooh, we only got two Pokemon left. Come on, you go, Macarena. Let's use items. This is my um, revive. On uh, Jolteon, just in case my um, my Pokemon faint. But let's use Confusion, shall we? And Confusion goes first. Sweet, I love Curia. Can you have faster speed? And yeah, that game's a lot of my experience with my these two Pokemon right here, though, because that's pretty high level. While wow, these two aren't. And 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 it gained a level, nice. And that gained a ton of uh, XP right there. Yeah. And just we defeat you. You suck. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, why? Well, let's let's see what this guy does. Let's see what these guys talk to. Do we do anything? Oh man. Well, I guess we can't go there. Kind of sucks, but I guess we had to continue through the game still. Enable. So what? I guess this guy just says the same thing, but. I guess we don't go anywhere, we just exit out. And it looks like we just got an email message from someone. So let's go to Power White Town, because we kind of need to do that. But let's go to Power White Town! And learn what that guy wants, shall we? As we go to the own SBS building, then which is the kid news building, with all the kids have news reports and does news reports and stuff like that. Now, Pokemon's pretty low on health though, so I may switch out. Like Curly and stuff, I guess. I don't know, I guess because I don't know why I decided to switch up to that those type of one, but I just want to. And I guess welcome back to Pirate Town because this is where you know the. Power White Coliseum is or anything. But Pokemon's pretty low, so... Yeah. And actually going over here in this building, because... Because I know we could go to that hotel, but we had to pay for, you know, to heal our Pokemon, Wow. Here, we can heal our Pokemon for free! Because free is awesome! Which I don't know why they had to pay to, you know, heal your Pokemon up, but... It's kind of a waste of money, which you can just go up here and, um, and heal your Pokemon up, but... I guess that's not part. I guess that's not part part of the game. So I guess that is part of the game. So I know. But yeah. But anyway, we can just heal Pokemon right here. And yes, I know I'm going upstairs because I thought we were supposed to go upstairs, but because I always think that. But it's actually Nat that's up here, not the um, guy that emailed us. I just always think it's the. Nest guy that calls us and always go up here. I don't know why, but I always forget that Nest is not up here. But let's talk to these guys, shall we? Well, that's bit, not Nest. That's Nest. There you go. Let's see, we'll talk to all these guys up here. Okay, I'll try to say it, but if I can. And I guess now they know that, um... On. I guess now they know that, I, that my this night machine got whipping off, though. You guys thought that TC9 disappeared five years ago, but nope, they came back like Team Safa does. Because always the bad guys always somehow come back and try for revenge, which also they fail in the future, but you know, they fail. They always fail. The bad guys always lose, and the good guys always win no matter what. Even though if it takes, even though if it takes like a long, long time of defeating that, it just takes years. So yeah. And just going, I'm just going like to six more in this area because I have no idea where to go exactly. Oh jeez. I have been thinking or not where to go. Hmm. It says to come because it said to come to a power right, a power right town, but eh, I guess I'm just check my email again. What it says? Can I believe it? To see it what because I actually did that when I was g doing game recording to see who it was because I actually know who to talk to right now but I mean after playing through the game I didn't realize who the guy was it was that set guy and actually for a second when I was rereading it I was like I was thinking who's that guy again then I will then I realized who it was and then we just go up there really really quickly I wish they actually tell us uh, that'd be awesome because somehow teleport to the different area in the game instead of just traveling through the game all over again, but I guess that's part of the game that we had to do that. And, th and that sick guy isn't here, because I remember that guy. Let's talk to this guy, shall we? Let's 
explained what happened. Sure, why not? I'll just go stand, huh? It's right there, next to Finac City, nice. So now let's actually go to Auschwitz stand and actually figure out where to go from there and where to try to find my snack machine get back and try to get it back and figure out where it went and where Team Snagnum went and stuff and what they need it for and what their actual plans are with Team Cypher or not. Which actually technically, I don't think they actually have plans with Team Cypher. I, I play this game, I haven't played this game in so long so... I, I believe they don't have any plans with them. I, I remember playing this through this game, and this, plus so far it doesn't really look like it. They have plans, but you know, you, who knows? You never know. I, plus, I haven't played this game so long, so. But anyway, let's go to Auschwitz Stand, and and actually, when we reach there, we're actually gonna end the episode off there. But yeah, and actually, we'll get a um a thing that says it's Mayor B's here. Yeah, Mayor B. But sad, uh, unfortunately, we have to end the episode off here. You know, we saw Mayor B, you know, there's a Mayor B thing guy here, but yeah, I guess I gotta see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon XC Gale of Darkness as we go through Outskirts Dance. See you next time, partners. Well, I'm out.